Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, want a quick update on uh, three days mining on different pools. So we have two K zero one and two. Just want to guys show you one and two mining on Caspa pool. I'm um, actually on the uh, Ham pool, and then three and four mining on Caspa pool. So they're in a different with a different fans, different settings, but they're all staying cool. We have fans set up similar way, so they're same condition, uh, same router, so everything the same, except we're doing different pools. Let's check the stats real quick. All right, it's so great to be away from the noise, guys. So let's look at Caspa mining on Caspa pool. So those two miners, three and four, and then we have Hampool, the two miners, one and two, okay? So let's look at the average, uh, 24 hours average. So I like on the Hampool, I have almost 200. So it's 100 on number two and 98 giga hash on the first miner. So average one hour is about 204 and this one is a little less now but uh on the first minor some a little lower hash rate right now I, sh I don't know why but we'll have to check on that now if i go to caspa pool this been going up and down a lot like i mentioned before but not as much on the two miners anyways i have the average of 24 hours look at this 91 and 94 so roughly 185 right that's right here uh, for 24 hours average. And then I have three hours average, 183 and 180. On the current hash rate, which let's refresh. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's kind of low. It's even less, 178. So here on Hampool, current hash rate 195. So it is a little higher for some reason. I did restart the uh, miners there on the Caspa pool and I did restart on the Ham pool when I start mining and those are three days results so let's check them up real quick so I have total mine Caspa here it's 8000 plus 311 pending balance now to make the right amount I have to go back and three days when I start mining to see what the balance was and it was uh, let's check it out real quick all right so uh, we start mining on Hampool with 1500 Caspa because I mine on uh, one single miner for a couple of days or one and a half day and I decided to uh, make two of my miners which is one and two on Hampool and then three and four on Caspa pool. So let's look at the stats. So we've started at 1500, uh, was starting balance. And then day one was mine 1688 compared to uh, Caspa pool. Let's take a look real quick so you could guys see it. On the Caspa pool, we did 1700 first day. That's on uh, June 15th, that was the first payout. And then the second, 1678. That's in Ju July, I'm sorry, 15, July 16th, 1678 and 1645, about the same time, 24 hours uh, on July 17. And today, uh, on the day of recording, I just got paid out 1547 on July 18, about uh, 731, right? So roughly it's a 24 hours plus minus 10 minutes. Um, and here what we've got here on the uh, Humpool compared to that first day 1688, second day 1796, third day 1682, day 4 1691, which is pretty good. The average was 1714. Um, I don't know what happened now. It's a little bit kind of slow, but on Caspa today on one of the miners, I think hash rate dropped a little bit, but overall, um the actual rewards are going down if you if you look every single day so it was 1700 about the same time 
1678, 1645, 1545. So it's a big decline. So on the average for four days on the Humpel was 1700, 14 for two K0 and then 1647 on the Caspa pool on two miners also KS0. So the difference a day is 72 Caspa. A month is about 2167. And of course, this is just a speculative way to look at it $67 a month for two miners. But um, I think it's the actually you will pay electricity just for $10 per miner. That's $40. So just on the difference, you know, uh, probably half a month or three quarter of a month will pay electrical bill for, I mean, for usage of all those four Casper miners. KS0. Um, so that's where I am for those two pools for you guys uh, quick update and then overall my ROI update is looking pretty bad <laughs> it looks pretty much where it was so let's take a look so so far I mined roughly 60,000 Caspa so I added to 4200 that I mined overall for the last three days uh from the last update we did or three and a half days um anyways and so far is my first miner that i got i mine a thousand roughly dollars because i was selling an average 27 cents so i started to sell at 24 uh actually at point zero twenty four, and been selling up to point thirty four, which averaged up for me probably 27 28 2.7 2.8 cents right so that's my uh so far mind and here you can see the left to roi so that's about the same that we had before so that means the declining is about the same guys as it was before and we are getting less casper every day so you can see over here um Let's take a look on my uh, console right here. So on the first one, Humpool, yes, it's roughly going up and down here as well. Um, but it's kind of hanging around 100 gigahash. So going lower and upper, uh, 120, 130, and lower 69, something like that on the first one. On the second one, I have close to the same from 130 to 73 69 so in average about the same but overall uh, my hash rate is 197 which I think is great and average hash rate here is uh, for 24 hours also close to 200 so it's 198 compared to Caspa pool is a little bit different the averages is a lot lower on number three minor right here you could see and overall is 177 183 to two hours 24 hours okay so that's where we are but look at the uh caspa hash rate so here we got 2.7 pentahash on caspa mining pool stats on pool bay we are getting at 2.05 so pretty close so this that's more of a less accurate and then let's refresh on the uh, two miners we are at 2.05 so very close uh, all three reports are pretty close but the uh, difficulty probably went a lot higher now so we're mining about 750 average day was 900 four days ago so decline is pretty significant as we predicted it's probably going even faster uh, hash rate even faster than we thought so this number gonna probably keep increasing even though we mine more fast but it's still gonna be going up and up and up so the last uh, probably thousand dollars to mine that would be the most difficult and longest time we're gonna take uh, I expect it's gonna be 
uh, probably in a month the difficulty gonna go about 20 to 40 times so this number gonna go 20 to 40 times lower our uh, rewards on each case zero and that means if we divide this simply by let's say we divide that by 20 <laughs> it's gonna take a thousand days to ROI uh, with the Casper price being like around point three, about three cents or a little higher. Now if the price gonna drop to back to two twenty two or twenty four, two point four. That that number even gonna increase by a lot. So we're gonna look roughly like for thousand three hundred days. That uh, let's put in in a monthly let divide by three real quick so we could see the monthly rate for this four miners but that's about 44 months right uh, on the last batch okay 44 months on the last two batches and then my first one 47 months and 17 on the second so the first two kind of in average is a little better deal because that's you know like the first with the discount of second that's i look at this as a combination of these two miners because they're kind of as a package first was expensive second was 412 just to balance these two guys off together and then they came earlier so we have chance to kind of mine a little bit extra caspa here so that's where we stand in. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll update on the next one. I'll be probably mining another three days just to see how they work. What I'm going to do, I'm going to flip those two miners. Just basically one and three, I'm going to put on Casper pool and three and four, I'm going to put on the uh, hump pool. Just for the sake, just to see what's our, uh, maybe I have silicon uh, issue of the miner or whatever it is. Or the temperatures they're all kind of similar uh, if you look like we're running 38 46 uh, on this minor three then we are 35 42 on the third 35 42 on the second and on the first one 38 44 so which are in average pretty close temperatures on the miners even though it was 110 degree outside I had to use ACs running in the mining shed just to keep those guys temperature lower just to be safe now I did mention before that the uh, on the hump pool before I had rejection rate was very low which it is still very low on the on the second miner I have only like 0 0.01 to 6 one percent which is only five rejected shares over the five days which i think it's great it, it was zero for almost a couple days uh anyways and then 36 rejected share for three days on the first miner then compared to uh caspa pool i have 52 rejected share on one of the miner and 37 on the other which that pretty close to the first one anyway at first i thought it was like a little nicer uh, rejection rate was less but maybe because i just started mining um but it's still kind of lower percentage on my miner too we'll see when i flip them over see how they do two other miners on the uh between those two pools because i'm kind of interested to see that was the uh, best pools that I mined so far. I tried the uh, Wooly Pooly and I tried the uh, two miners, which I didn't have a big luck. So I think it was significantly lower rewards here. Uh, on the Wooly Pooly, it was probably uh, about the same, but it was uh, kind of laggy. I don't know how to say it, just wasn't as great. The, the hash rate went zero and then jump up, zero and jump up, kind of weird to say that the hash rate goes up and down that means something wrong with the either miner connecting to pool or i don't know what exactly is the problem but uh these two pools been doing pretty well i mean especially the hump pool really stable 
not going crazy up and down all right guys thanks for watching see you in the next one sorry for a long video bye